it's Amanda. I just wanted to jump on here real quick with a quick word, and that quick word is pray along the way. Um, I'm basically in prayer on my way to a prayer conference, and you know there were several stops or whatever. But the bottom line is, I wanted to encourage you guys out there to say to pray along the way. Sometimes it'll get tough. I'm sorry if you can't really see my face because the lighting is kind of like it's a glare. But really, what's important if you can hear the content of what I'm saying. Um, in First Thessalonians 5, the Bible tells us to pray without ceasing. I'm sorry if I look like a bobblehead right now. I'm trying to find the right spot, but. Okay, that's a good spot right there. Pray along the way and don't be discouraged by what you see. As believers, we're called to walk by faith and not by sight. And um, it's vitally important to understand that, um, you know, I heard this saying somewhere. I don't know. You can't quote me on it or whatever. Uh, success is not a destination. It's a journey. And this whole trip has been the epitome of that. On Monday, I was in Washington. Uh, was it Monday or Tuesday? I think it was Monday, I was in Washington, and um, you know, a group of believers had gone there to pray, and so I decided since my schedule was open, that I would go too, because they have to elect the next Supreme Justice, and um, you know, as I made my way to the steps and realized that the group from the church wasn't there, I had a decision to make. I could have walked away and just, you know, did some sightseeing until, you know, my bus came, or I could stand there and pray and stand in the gap. So. It's important to understand that you're never standing alone, but you have to pray along the way. It's not actual, like, leading up to a certain event, but it's the whole process involved. And the sooner that we realize that as believers is the sooner that we can experience what Christ, you know, sacrificed for us to have through his death and resurrection. So this is the only time, too, leading up to Easter. So, um, you know... Don't worry about what people are thinking. There's safety in a multitude of counselors. You don't have to rebel. Don't rebel against leadership, but make sure you pray. You yield to what the Holy Spirit is telling you to do. And as far as folks getting in your business, um, I can't speak for everybody, but I can speak for myself. You know, I've come under a lot of heat and a lot of fire, um, especially because I'm a mother, you know, but I'm co-parenting and I'm divorced. I had a decision. Why sit me here till I die? Why sit in one spot? You know, if I have the opportunity to go places and do things, that's what I do. As somebody in waiting, you know, we're called to do the work of the Lord. You know, two months ago I was hit by that car and, you know, I didn't get paralyzed or anything. It, it banged my knee up real good. But the bottom line is I had a choice to make. These things keep happening back to back. You know, I have to make a decision to trust the Lord. So, this is my birthday month too, and I don't want to make it about me, but I thought about it. I'll be turning 35. I'm not afraid of my age. I'll be turning 35. And I had to pray along the way. I've been praying since I was a little girl. Are you going to continue to let other people make decisions for you? Or are you going to do that thing that God called you to do? So, um, I'll be jumping back on here, but I don't want to overshadow the, um, you know, there's prayer going on at that meeting even as we speak. But I've been praying along the way. This is not to look cute and take selfies. Oh, just got to Atlanta. Oh, just got to here. Oh, just got to Washington. Yeah. You know, I'm not doing that because, number one, I don't want, you know, a lot of people in my business. But number two... Is because this is a prudent time. He said, you'll pray in secret and I'll reward you openly. Everything doesn't have to be broadcasted. But on the flip side, I'm not going to be afraid to speak up. I'm not going to be afraid to air what's going on. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he have redeemed from the hand of the enemy. The enemy, and when I say the enemy, I mean the devil. The devil ain't stopping nothing. So I hope that you're encouraged, my friend, my brother, and my sister. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness in all of these things shall be added unto you. Shalom.